Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about 10 ways to become more minimalist in 2019. And if this is the year where you want to simplify and declutter your life, you're going to love these 10 tips and strategies that you can use to do exactly that. And we're going to jump right into the first tip here, but before we do, my name is Ashlyn for those of you who don't know me, and I make videos twice a week on this channel about minimalism and intentional living. So if that sounds interesting to you, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down below. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the first tip, which is to declutter one area of your life each month. And this is a great way to jump into minimalism if you're just getting started, because it really easily gives you a parameter that over the course of the year, you can pretty much declutter your entire life. The way this would essentially work is one month you would dedicate to decluttering your kitchen, another to your bathroom, another to your closet, and so on, until you've kind of gone through all of the main areas of your life and really just decluttered everything step by step. This is actually how I got started with minimalism. Over the course of about six months, I decluttered almost every area of my life, and it works really well for people like me who have a hard time of keeping track of a certain number of things that they want to get rid of each day and would rather just focus on handling one space at a time. So if you are wanting to simplify your space in 2019, this is a great way to get started. Another way that you can apply minimalism in the new year is to use something like a screen time app on a phone. I think that in our digital age, we spend way too much time on our phones on a daily basis. We spend hours on end just endlessly scrolling Instagram or social media apps or watching videos or whatever. I'm not saying that those things are bad. Those are things that do in some cases add value to my life and probably to yours as well. But I think it's important that we regulate how much time we're spending on our phones. And so if you can use something like a screen time app that iPhones have, and I know uh, apps like Moment, I believe is available for Android as well. You can use an app or a, a feature like that on your phone to really be able to regulate how much time you're spending on your phone. I think that's a fantastic way to just help you be more intentional with the way that you use your phone and just kind of the way that you approach digital minimalism. Number three is to build a capsule wardrobe. And if you find yourself struggling to, with having nothing to wear, with having too many clothes, with being overwhelmed by choices for your wardrobe on a daily basis, this could be a great way to implement minimalism in 2019. Essentially what a capsule wardrobe is, it's just having a small collection of curated clothing that you can really mix and match well with each other and that are pieces that you love use and are versatile. One of my favorite YouTube creators who talks about this a lot is the Use Less. Her name is Signe. I'm not entirely sure how you say her name. She's Danish. I'll link her channel right up here, but if you're looking to simplify your wardrobe in 2019, having a capsule wardrobe is a fantastic way to go. And speaking of simplifying, number four is to simplify your schedule. I think way too often we apply minimalism only to the physical possessions that we have and forget that it hugely has applications in our time, our schedule, how we use the time that we have given to us. And so if you feel like you have an overwhelming schedule, that you never have free time, that you're not able to focus on your priorities, the things that are most important to you, reevaluate your schedule and see if there's something that you might be able to remove move so that you can spend time doing what's most important to you. I have to do this every couple of months because I like being able to do social activities and everything like that, but there are times when I just have to learn how to say no, to step back and simplify my schedule and say, okay, what am I really getting value from and how can I continue to do those um, and how can I continue to focus on my priorities rather than just you know, kind of allowing my schedule to be filled up uh, without me really being the person creating my schedule, just kind of letting it happen to me. So simplifying your schedule, fantastic way to really just adopt minimalism to your lifestyle in 2019. Number five is to travel, to go experience life. I think that at the end of the day, minimalism really does boil down to valuing experiences over things, valuing people over things, valuing the intangible over the tangible because at the end of the day it's our experiences uh, that really make up who we are not the things that we own in 2019 if you're wanting to live a minimalist life go travel go experience life go think do things that you love that fill you up that make you come alive for me that's like going traveling to the mountains but whatever that is for you take time to curate experiences in 2019 number six let's talk about another decluttering one, it's to play the 30-day minimalism game. And if you don't know what this is, the 30-day minimalism game is essentially a 
30 day long game where essentially you declutter one item on the first day of the month, two items on the second day, three items on the third day, and so on. And by the end of the month, you're decluttering 29 things on the 29th day, 30 things on the 30th day, and you end up decluttering almost 500 items over the course of those 30 days. This is a fantastic way if you're just beginning with your minimalism journey and you want to get the ball rolling quickly, decluttering 500 items in a single month definitely leaves a sense of pride and accomplishment at the end of it. So definitely go ahead and try this one out. If you want to have a little bit more information on this and see what it looks like in action, I did film a video on this earlier last year. So I'll link that one right up there in the cards. But try it out, see if it works for you. And it's a great way to really just get your minimalism journey going. If you want to have that snowball effect right from the get-go, it's a great way to get started. Number seven is to create a morning routine. And I think that so much of minimalism is about doing what's going to add value to your life, what you're going to enjoy, and what you're going to learn and grow from. And I think that creating a morning routine is definitely a great way to set up your day for success, to incorporate some daily habits that will definitely add value to your life, that will bring you joy, and just really start you off on the right track. Whether you want to start meditating, reading, drinking tea, just taking a little bit of time in the morning to incorporate some habits into your life that you really want to expand on and grow on in 2019. I think that's a fantastic way really just to start off your day right and really just incorporate that kind of minimalist mindset, that slow living mindset into your life in 2019. Number eight is to subtract something from your life this year. And whether this is an unhealthy habit or just a trend that you've noticed creeping into your life in recent months, if there's something that is really not being productive, that isn't adding value to your life, that isn't contributing to your physical and personal well-being, consider subtracting that from your life this year. Whether that's a habit of binge drinking, smoking, or just spending too much time on social media, if there's an unhealthy habit that you've noticed in your life, consider making it your goal to subtract it in this year. I think that doing this is a fantastic way to really implement minimalism into your life because you're really minimizing something that is not adding value. Number nine is to kick your shopping habit. And I think that so many of us just over time have developed something of an addiction to shopping. When we're bored, when we have free time, when we don't really have anything else to do, we shop. Whether that's going to the store, going to the mall, shopping online, scrolling down that app. Uh, there are so many different ways that shopping just creeps into our lives uh, until it kind of has a stranglehold on us, our finances, our time. If you're really wanting to minimalize and simplify your life in 2019, this is a fantastic way to do it, really because it is the source of so much of the physical clutter that ends up in our lives. If you want to see an entire video on this topic, I'll link that in the cards right up there. Uh, but really, definitely consider this one if it's something you've struggled with. Kicking your shopping habit before you approach minimizing your life really is a fantastic way to go because it helps to ensure that you're not going to just be replacing all the stuff you decluttered with the new stuff. And last up, let's talk about minimalist finances. If you are saddled with loads and loads of debt, make it your goal to dump your debt in 2019. There is really no better way to start wanting to live a minimalist life than really getting rid of the physical burden that is your debt. It really weighs on us and kind of prevents us from being able to pursue so many things that would add value to our lives, bring us joy, uh, and bring us peace of mind as well. Consider trying to make it your goal in 2019 to dump your debt so that you can live a more minimal, a more simple, a more free life. So guys, those are my 10 ideas for how you can adopt minimalism in 2019. And I hope this gave you some inspiration that minimalism isn't just applying to our physical things. If you're wanting to adopt a minimalist lifestyle, a sort of slow living lifestyle in 2019, you can simplify not only your physical possessions, but also your time, also your digital life. There are so many different ways that minimalism can apply in our daily lives, and I suggest that you explore them in 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed this video though, and if you have any thoughts or comments, definitely go ahead and leave those below. I would love to hear all about them. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet and you enjoyed this video, definitely consider subscribing to my channel. I would totally appreciate it. And like I said, you'll get two videos about minimalism and intentional living twice a week in your subscription box.
that is everything I have for you though today. I love you guys all so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.